the Bible study of conjuring spirits and using the crystal ball, my warning, it's very real. And I'm using scripture to back it. I'll be using 1 Samuel 28, 7 through 25. And also that's 19... Thirteen through the end of the chapter, yeah. And basically, in First Samuel twenty-eight, it talks about King Saul trying to hide himself. From this would be fortune teller, crystal ball woman, or whatever you call those, like, you know, fortune tellers. But she used a seance, like, you know, it was basically a seance, you know, a crystal ball, like. And God allowed Samuel, the real Samuel, after he died, his spirit to come up and basically say that King Saul disobeyed God. Now, that strikes me, and she used a familiar spirit. I have to do more research on what familiar spirits are. That's for another video. But. Acts 19. 13 through 25. Says a vagabond Jew. His craft was a wanderer, and he was trying to do exorcisms like the apostles. Basically, a fugitive Jew trying to do the works of the Lord, you know, by conjuring up spirits and a real demon. Basically, he said, Jesus they know, Paul they know. But they asked, who are you? They they didn't recognize his anointing. He didn't have the power of the Holy Ghost behind him. He wasn't filled with the Holy Ghost. He wasn't called to do that. See, if you're doing exorcisms on something you're not called, you can easily become possessed. So Christians can be or if you're professing it, you know, and pretending to be, why you shouldn't play around with witchcraft, you know, make like jokes or something. So, so yes, it's real. And it was a witch that King Saul saw, went to see, whenever you gotta try to disguise yourself. It's never good. So, fear no evil and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. And have a blessed day, love you guys. That stuff is more than what you see on Hollywood and Harry Potter. People actually did that in its much older practice. And it was in the Old Testament times in the book of Samuel. 
And the vagabond Jew goes all the way back to Cain, who killed Abel. So that's basically a spirit, you know, spirit of Cain. So...